All right. Welcome to another episode of Barley Pop. We're here at the Blue Bowl in Carson City. You should have already come and visited it by this time this episode comes out. So, here with Cameron, he's going to show us how to make another crazy cocktail that they're always coming up with. All right, let's just do it. Go for it. Sorry to hit me up. All right, well, see, now you guys are beer fanatics. We figured we would do another beer drink for you. This is called a Rojo Cubano. It's uh, the same thing as a Mexican bloody beer. It's a Bloody Mary and a mirror, uh, beer together. Uh, pretty simple. Got a couple of crazy ingredients that you use in it, one of which is Hugo, which is comparable to like a, a Mexican soy sauce. And it's, it's pretty delicious. It makes the drink. Um, we're going to start off with all the ingredients first. Um, something you need in every Bloody Mary and Bloody Beer, for that matter, is going to be Worcestershire. You're going to want three dashes of it. One, oop, that's a little more than three dashes, but I hope that person, I hope you like Worcestershire. I do, I yeah, do. It's right. all good. Well, we're we're, it works out, works out. About three dashes of Hugo. If we can get it open. One, two, three. All right. All right. Next, we're going to move on to about two lime wedges. Uh, kind of depends on how thick you cut your limes. We like ours smaller to garnish drinks with. But you take two lime wedges and you just give them the old squeezer room. All right. All right. All right, cool. Next, we're going to move on to about, it, it depends on what you like. You know, I like spicier drinks. I don't know about you. I don't know about a lot of people out there. But a worse, uh, horseradish. Horseradish, let's say a uh, a half tablespoon. You can't really eyeball it with a knife, but or you're going to have to eyeball it with a knife, I should say. But uh, that looks good to me right there. Sure, why not? All right, next we're going to move on to about three to four ounces of Clamato, or whatever you want to call it, tomato juice, clam tomato juice. And you can eyeball this. You don't have to use a jigger for everything. About there is good. Third, let's say that. Um, you want to do salt and pepper and everything like that. Kosher salt we like to stick with. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of our, our, our Hebrew roots or whatever. But we're going to put a dash or two. <laughs> <laughs> repping for the Hebes. Uh, we're going to put a dash or two of hot sauce in it. Like I said, I like mine a little all hotter. All right. All right. I'm down do. with that. I hope you do too. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, that's good. You're going to top it off with a light beer. Um, seeing how it is uh, a Mexican drink, we are going to use Corona Light. up pretty good once you see it start diluting and looking not so red a little more orange you know you got it about right all right all right uh let's top it off with some salt and pepper you know you tell me when because th this is going to be for you okay. tell me what you think about this all right that's good right there. that's good you like that all right cool and then just a little bit of pepper notice how it fizzes and everything like yeah. that you put the salt in. all right that sounds good that's good all right well, that's pretty much the drink it's really simple and uh it's pretty refreshing so let's See what you think. Actually, All right. Yeah, let's give it a little swirl first. Make sure that horseradish. Oh no! There. Please do. All right. They they have a strong tendency of making drinks that sound disgusting here, as you know by watching the show. But I've learned to trust them, and everything they've made so far has been really good. So I hope you guys try all these. Uh, you know, let us know what you think on the website and everything else. So, cheers. Salute. Once again, uh, oh, that spice kicks. Oh, that's so good. All right, so again, I'm pleased. This is a great drink. So tell me, where'd you come up with this? Um, actually, we didn't come up with this. Terry found this when he was in Mexico. We'd love to take credit for it, but it's kind of like a, a customary uh, take on, on a bloody beer. We have our similar things, red beers okay. and bloody beers. Yeah, uh, um, Terry Poor, the owner, we have a couple episodes with already, um, found this little delight when he was down in Cabo and brought it back with him. All right. So this is straight from over the border, and oh, this is tasty. Um, mm, uh, I'm not gonna lie; I probably would wake up and drink a few of these. Uh, so thank you very much, Blue Bull. It's always a pleasure, Cameron. Thank oh, you very much. Good seeing you, man. Um, thank you for watching Barley Pop, and we'll catch you later. Cheers.